What's going on guys? This is Pseudo Shu, and today we're going to go over TaskBot. Uh, TaskBot, also known as MacBot or Task, is an all-in-one bot for OSX, so strictly Mac users. Um, they cover pretty much all Shopify sites and also have support for Adidas, Supreme, and a couple other sites. Uh, it's currently out of stock, but sells for $250 USD, uh, and they restock usually around 7 to 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on most weekdays. Um, it's been kind of sporadic recently, but keep an eye out for that. So let's open up Task. Right as you start up TaskBot, it's going to ask you to, to sign into your Gmail account. This is for CAPTCHA. And it's also going to take us to Foot Locker where we're going to add a shoot a cart. And I believe this is for their automated process to help them better automate some of what they're doing. So once that's done, we can close. Make sure you do that because you do need to sign into that Google account. Um, if you don't capture, it's going to be a little tough. So let me delete all here. So this is what you are greeted with right when you open up TaskBot. Once you're done signing into your Google account, um, extremely simple UI. You know, not too not too difficult to look at. I've had a lot of bots that are either have no GUI or are extremely complex to use. So this is nice. Uh, we're going to start up top. So first, we have wait page support. Uh, strictly for Adidas um, for splash page drops. Um, so say we have a bunch of tasks running for Easy Drop, we can enter the uh, splash page URL, which is zetas.com slash easy, and it will allow us to sit on that splash page and wait to get through. Um, Smart Checkout is a nice feature. This keeps you from checking out multiple pairs of shoes with the same checkout profile. Um, that is done to avoid getting any order cancellations. So if you do check out the same pair of shoes on the same site with the same billing profile, you will most likely get canceled. That is because a lot of these stores are pretty strict on one shoe per customer. Mass proxy import slash deletion. This is great if you buy a mass amount of proxies and you need to put them all in at once rather than entering each per task or each per, per profile. Um, and then mass link change. I've used this before for Easy Supply. Uh, they do have support for all stores, but I've really only used it for Easy Supply. So say we have a bunch of tasks running for Easy Supply for a Easy Drop, um, and it's monitoring Easy Supply for that certain shoe. Say we get the URL early, we can enter that and click Change, and it'll change what it's monitoring for all of those tasks, which is extremely convenient. Um, rather than having to go in and edit all the tasks or create new ones based on the URL, you can change them all instantly. CAPTCHAs, we have a CAPTCHA solver here. And there is also uh, auto-click enabled, which was just recently added to their feature set. This um, will auto-click one-click CAPTCHAs, which is extremely convenient um, when you need to solve a bunch of CAPTCHAs really quickly. So great feature and really excited that they added that. Mobile app, they do have an iOS app partnered with this app, which is great if you know you're going to be away from your computer and you still need to start tasks or stop tasks or solve captures, all that good stuff. Um, so if you are a task user and plan to be away from a computer from or during a drop, be sure to get that app because it is a lifesaver sometimes. Supreme, they have this web automator. I've only used it once and didn't have any success with it. Um, I think mainly just because it was tough to load. Uh, but you can go in and do this, and it'll it'll actually show you the automation process of how it is adding to cart or finding the product and all that good stuff. Um, but I recommend just creating tasks manually. Um, so as you can see, we're now sitting here on the terminal. We have an Add Tasks page, Billing Profiles page, Inventory page, and News. Um, so the Inventory page is strictly for Adidas. That's just to see what kind of stock is available. Um, I don't know that it's working right now. Let's test it. Uh, but it is convenient when you know what stock is going to be for a certain shoe, especially for Yeezys. Everyone seems to, to want to know what that is. So let's see if it'll... Okay, so there we go. It is working. So you can see that 
all these different sizes are in stock for the uh, that Ultra Boost Limited. Um, so if we go down to the news section, typically this will be updated the morning before a drop. So you can see that it's been updated for the Kith, the Monday tea drop, um, and they'll provide keywords that you know what to go for when you're making tasks. Billing profiles, this is pretty self-explanatory, um, but obviously you're gonna go in and create different billing profiles based on your credit cards or different addresses, um, and these are gonna be tied to each of the tasks. As you can see, I do have you know, five tasks here and five tasks here for different cards. Um, that's because I've kind of modified my address a little bit. You can jig your address if you want to check out uh, multiple pairs of something with the same credit card. Um, typically that works well, but every now and then you will get caught and they will cancel your orders. But a great way to do it is to kind of just come in and modify the different addresses. So this is our task page. Um, as you can see, we have a list of all stores, most of which are Shopify, other than a couple here and there, um, mainly Supreme and Adidas. And so we're going to come in to create a task. We're going to select our billing profile. Uh, we're going to enter our, our style. You can find any Adidas product style based on their URL, so you can see up here it's two letters and four numbers. That's typically their name and convention for products. So we'll enter that there. We're going to select a size. We'll select size nine. And I'm going to leave proxies out of this for now. Um, I think all proxy explanation is going to require a whole other video, not just for TaskBot, but for any bot. So I'm going to leave that out for now. Um, and we're only running one task, so it's not something we have to worry about. But if you do plan on running you know, at least three tasks for Shopify sites, I would highly recommend using proxies just because you will get soft banned pretty quickly. So we're gonna save that task and then come over here to our terminal and there you can see our test billing profile with size nine of that Ultra Boost. Um, so we have that task selected. We're gonna click start task. Do that again, start task, adding to cart, getting shipping keys, sending shipping info. And this is not gonna go through the checkout process because I am using that test profile. If I did have a legitimate billing profile entered in this task, it would go through and do a full checkout. Um, but just for the sake of explaining how this works, I'm just gonna use that test profile. Um, but if it was successful, it would say, check your email. Um, which means you most likely had a successful checkout. Otherwise, it'll say out of stock and monitoring for restock, that kind of stuff. Um, so times where tasks may vary, you'll definitely see in Supreme, let's go down to there, um, that there are already products to select. So as you can see here, we have a list of different products to select. So say we wanted the sled, um, obviously you don't need to select a size or a color because there's only one color and one size, uh, but we could save that. Um, and these are typically updated the morning of the Supreme US drop, um, just because UK gets the drop before us, so we know what keywords to go for. Um, so you'll see that that's been added here. Uh, another different one, so sometimes, I guess Clot has it, um, you'll have PayPal down here at the bottom. Um, some Shopify sites only allow checkout through PayPal, so you have to then go ahead and enter your PayPal information. Um, if you're trying to go for multiple pairs on a site like that, you do have to use different PayPal addresses or accounts for each task. Um, if you are to check out with the same PayPal account for the same shoe, it will more than likely get canceled. Uh, that just happened for a clock release. Actually, a lot of guys use the same PayPal address for multiple tasks and got all of them canceled. So be aware of that if you're going to run multiple and not just going for a personal pair, make sure to use um, separate PayPal accounts. Other than that, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's extremely easy to use and it gets updated a lot. Um, I think just this week, we've probably had three or four updates in small things. They just added the um, the enable auto click for, for captures, which has been nice. And 
I know that they just added Q bypass for a couple of different sites, so that will be great as well. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. Um, if you have any suggestions, if you want me to go over a specific bot, you can leave a comment down below as well. I have pretty much every bot in the book, so feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Um, next bot I'll probably go over is Splash Force or Gen 5, um, just because we have a couple big Adidas drops coming up. Um, I probably won't cover a ton of Nike bots just because I don't typically go for Nike, but I'm sure I can get my hands on one and go through it if anybody would like that. Um, other than that, thanks, hope you enjoyed, and uh, good luck with task.